ages since I last regaled someone with tales of my family's glory. Indeed, I am an honorable noble of the Roman Empire. Much like the Empire, my family's history and glory have endured forever. So, it will continue to endure... forever. Oh, how low I've sunk, trapped on this island. Living in constant fear of raids by strange, savage beasts. And you refuse my ample, nay, generous reward for serving me. Ah, oh, if this continues, my family's illustrious history will come to an end. Pardon? What was that? Lend you my aid? Why, my mere presence should be all the aid you require. Huh? At all? Sir Carlin? Man, you two make a strange pairing. What do you brutes want? <laughs> We're burning through resources, dealing with all the raids hitting the village. I've put together a plan to manage our resources better, but I'm not so hot at number crunching. Present it to me. Huh? Sure. Here you go. Hmm. Hmm? This won't do at all! Huh? The quantity for this line item is far too high. You can reduce it significantly. And considering the total population of the village, the quantity for this line item should be... Oh, I... I get it now. This plan makes a lot of sense. I can't see a single flaw in it. As long as we stick to it, I think our resource management problems will be taken care of. Why, I only possess this trivial knowledge because my father saw fit to beat it into me. Are you suggesting that you need my knowledge? Much as I hate to admit it, that would help us out a lot. Eureka! At all, this resource management plan shall be your reward. I... I don't know what you mean by that, but I appreciate the help. So, my inkling was correct, after all. I knew you peasants needed my help. My family's glory will not yet end here. Now hurry along, Adol, and tend to your business. If you are successful, I may very well feel compelled to reward you again. Um... Indeed. As a noble, I must set a proper example by distributing punishments and rewards as necessary. You should all be more grateful. I'm relieved that Allison was able to deliver her baby safely. I guess I was able to be a little useful, at least. Yeah. That can't be. I still haven't finished my residency. <sighs> Actually, I've thought about giving up on being a doctor. I... I don't think I'm cut out for it. A doctor needs to be able to cradle life in their hands. I don't know if I can carry that kind of responsibility. It scares me to think how even a small mistake can cost a patient their life. There's no way I'll ever be as good as my doctor. Huh? huh? I'm a good doctor because I worry? I wonder if my doctor worried too. Maybe he did his worrying away from me, while encouraging me to fight my illness. You're right. 
My doctor was the same way. No matter how bad I got, he never gave up. He worked tirelessly during my treatment. He is my hero. I can't believe I had forgotten. <laughs> Thank you, Adol. I'm happy to keep helping you any way I can. close. Thanks for taking care of that pest. I've always hated spiders. You're such a brave boy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sell yourself short. You've been through a lot for someone your age. You're a remarkable young man. I know I've already told you this, but I have six kids. All boys, too. They're so wonderful. They're nowhere near as brave or strong as you at all. But you remind me of them just the same. They're good boys, and my husband's a good man. I'm sure they're doing fine without me. <laughs> huh. I hadn't really thought about that. I'm sure they'll be really surprised when they find out I'm alive. <laughs> You're right. I can't wait to see their reactions. Thank you for cheering me up, Adol. This is for you. <laughs> You're so cute. Now then, I have a lot of hungry mouths to feed. Time to whip up a home-cooked meal and fill everyone's bellies. Delicious. Man, am I stuffed. And I made plenty for everyone, too. Yeah. <laughs> Same here. This island gives me the willies, but at least the fish are fat and tasty. If it weren't for all the primordials, this would be a perfect fishing spot. Shame the captain weren't with us to enjoy it, though. I decided, after I get off of this island, I'm gonna pay my respects to the captain's family. That man did a lot for us. Him and me, we got the same sea in our blood. Wouldn't be right not to tell his kin about what happened. Then. <laughs> Thanks for that, Adol. Since we're talking about captains and all, that Captain Reed fella's been gnawing at me too. Falsely charged and dying alone, without ever seeing his family or crew again. Wish he had some descendants, so I could tell him the truth. thinks they know ain't the only truth. Would be people out there would still believe in Captain Reed. All right. When I get back home, I'm telling the family all about what happened here. Everything I saw, everything I heard, everything. <laughs> I'm getting fire in my belly just thinking about it. Here's to a great departure, Adol. Lacrimosa, we will still leave this village regardless. We made this village together. It's bittersweet, that's all. <laughs> so you feel the same as 
inside you? Come to think of it, quite a lot has happened between you and I. When we first arrived here, I was unkind to you due to my feelings toward my father and house. Perhaps I was afraid of losing my status and honor as a noble. After all, that's the last thing my father left me. But everyone I've met on this island, they're all so different, and yet they're able to live their lives with such vigor and confidence. I was so preoccupied by my fears, I didn't realize the others were saving me until it had already happened. But I understand now. No matter what circumstances may befall a person, they can still live on with pride. That's why I wanted to properly thank you. holds for us, but I don't want to regret anything, so I thought I should tell you now. <clears throat> Which is not to say that my feelings for you are limited to gratitude. <laughs> Never mind. Now then, Doki and the others are keeping the village safe, and we must fulfill our duties too. Let's fight with all our might until the very end, had all. Alrighty then, with that, that takes care of all of the heart-to-hearts that we have, you know, obtained up to this point. There are no other heart-to-hearts open up to us right now. And, yeah. Don't worry, we will max out everybody else's, um, approval to where we can get their heart-to-hearts. I think some of their items that, like, unlock some of the items that unlock their uh, heart to hearts may actually be in the final dungeon so we'll just have to keep an eye out anyway before we end off here okay or our grass is now tradable but I want to look here hey, welcome. because Yes, we have a lot of new gift items. I want to get these. One. One, because we can literally give these all to, um... Underworld Hide and Underworld Bone. Oh, we can get... We can get another Spirit Elixir. Is there any Underworld Bones that we can trade for? Or is this like something we're going to be getting in the next dungeon? There's a high chance that it's something we can get in the next dungeon, and if that's the case, we'll wait it out. Nothing, oh, nothing else? Done already? No. Hey, welcome. Oh, we can also tr trade See gems later. to get some equipment or some cool things, like other great tree drops. I'm not going to worry about that right now. But we do have the, all the... Um, all these uh, items we need to basically max out probably the rest of everybody's approval, actually. Because the only people left are Hummel, Rakota, Ed, Quinna, Sylvia, Kathew, Griselda, and Lopara. Argus Paro. Shoebill? No. Sorry, Shoebill. I don't feel like taking on your approval quests. But with that, one last thing I want to do. I want to increase my maximum SP because I'm a nerd. But with that, we're going to end things here. It is finally time. We have taken care of everything that I want to take care of up to this point. All the quests. Most of all the, um, 
most of all the uh, Let's go. heart to hearts and everything. So, next time on Yisei at Lacrimosa of Donna, we start our journey through the Octus Overlook in order to gain more psyches so the tree of psyches can grow. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like. Troops at a ton. Make sure to subscribe to Dibbly Dibbly if you have not already. And I will see you guys all How exciting. later.